Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to install this mod, which is Hangers in Single Player. This looks like a really cool mod, um, and yeah, let's install it. So the first thing that you have to do is install a trainer. I recommend Simple Trainer. This is what we're going to be using to just like teleport around, give ourselves money or whatever. And I just, in general, recommend that you install a trainer if you're going to be modding GTA 5 because it makes things easier, you can teleport, stuff like that. So I recommend you install it. I have a video on how to install Simple Trainer which you can check out in the cards of this video and once you have Simple Trainer installed the next thing you have to do is download Scripthook 5 now to download Scripthook 5 all you have to do is go to this site which I will link in the description and you just have to click on download and that should you know download your file so once you have Scripthook 5 downloaded you want to download Scripthook5.net now you just go over to this side which I'll again link in the description and you click on download and then you click on this here and that should just download a zip file so once you have those things installed uh, sorry downloaded then you can go ahead and begin now again I have showed you in another video how to install uh, simple trainer uh, it's in the cards of the video so I'll show you how to install the other two things which is um, scriptic5 and scriptic5.net. So let's start with scriptic5. To install this, all you have to do is go into the bin folder and next you'll want to open up your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. To find your GTA 5 main directory, all you have to do is go into Steam, Library, Games, right click on Grand, Grand Theft Auto 5, click on Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. And here you go, as you can see, here is my GTA 5 main directory. So in here uh, you should have well just GTA 5 files and um, as well as your um, simple trainer files. So once you have this window open you just open up this window and select these two um, files and you just drag them into this window. Make sure you don't paste them into any of these folders but just right here. Yes replace and there we go that should have worked just fine so now that we have scriptic 5 installed we can go ahead and close this and next we will move on to scriptic5.net and we will do a similar thing with scriptic5.net we'll just select this folder and this folder and you just drag it into here and there we go now you can create your own scripts folder by just creating a folder and calling it scripts. And there we go. Now you have scriptic5.net installed. Next thing that you have to install is the mod itself. So let's go into our downloads folder. It is right here, hangers and single player. And this is what the folder should look like. So let's put it over here to the side. And let's put this folder over here to the side. Um, so all you have to do is go into scripts and you have to copy all of these folders into here. And there we go. So the installation is done. Now we can start up the game and I'll see you guys once the game has finished loading. And okay, as you guys can tell, the game has started up, but there is one key difference between this video and the rest of my other videos. As you can tell, I don't have a graphics mod installed. Now I have tried it with uh, Natural Vision Remastered installed and um, I had some issues. So keep that in mind. If this installation guide doesn't work for you, first try it on a completely clean copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 like I did and it works perfectly fine um, using these you know, instructions, using these by installing it the way I did. Um, so keep that in mind. So if you have a very heavily modded game then this mod may not work for you for some reason I have no idea why but it just wasn't working for me so as you can tell here are a bunch of icons um, which are the locations for the hangers so let's go and let's go and purchase one of these so let's go here now to use to teleport you just press delete after per, uh, after putting a waypoint and ta -da, as you can tell we have teleport, uh, teleported to this location. Now once you are at this location or any location with a hangar, well then you can just walk up to one of these signs and purchase it. So let's press Q. Okay, that's funny. I 
and there we go very nice so let's go into our hangar and this is what the hangar looks like quite nice now let's try pressing F10 okay that doesn't work yet let's go up to that blue circle thing or maybe I should just get it plain first and then drive it into here oh well let's just try this first let's see what that does I think that changes the um, the uh, organization of the oh okay that's very interesting hangar style so let's check that out how do I navigate through this okay mm. okay I use I'm using my arrows right now to switch between different um, hangar styles so that's really cool I'll choose this one this one looks really nice purple and like black and white so I'll take this one and let's try pressing escape whoops okay so maybe escape doesn't work too well lighting style let's see this one looks the best let's try pressing um, backspace okay backspace works um, floor style painted floor wow I like this let's press back floor decal whoa that's cool that looks good mmm I think I like this one the most so I'll take this one we can always change that later plus I'm a billionaire so that's okay if I make a mistake um, office style hmm can't see the difference Um, maybe it's on the interior let's just choose modern first and we'll see um, bedroom style let's just choose the best bedroom blinds best oh okay interesting let's choose open and that's basically it so let's go and check out this place so I don't have a hangar online I've stopped playing online for quite a while because I got tired of switching files here and there so I decided to just stick to offline so I'm guessing that this is my office and yeah it is well it does look modern so modern so seems like it worked what does this do oh okay you can change the hangar style here too okay cool and is this my bedroom? Nope. Whoa. Whoa, that's really cool. Doors. Okay, this is where I stay, I guess. Yes, it is. Very nice. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so I can change the hangar style here too. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try and purchase a a vehicle to put into the hangar. And let's see how that works. Maybe let's try and see what we can do with that helicopter. I'm not too sure if I can use it or not. And I'm guessing that I, I remember watching a video and I think that all of the work is done from that room. So let's check that out. Um, let's see. Okay, not too sure what's going on here. Oh well. Okay, let's see what we can do with this helicopter. Uh, no, it's just a dummy. Okay, so let's go ahead and exit the hangar and purchase a vehicle, a plane. Or I can just spawn it, so let's see. So this is where we're going to be using the, um, the trainer. So to spawn a vehicle, you just first open up the trainer by pressing F4, and then you navigate the trainer by pressing um, 
the arrow keys and the enter and backspace keys. So let's go to vehicle spawning. Okay, actually no, don't press the backspace key. Press the zero key um, to to go back. So let's go into planes and let's choose the hmm. What's the pyro? Oh, that's cool. Okay. So that's pretty here. Oh crap. Okay. Well, it worked. Okay. So that's our first plane. Um, is there anything I can do with it? Oh, yes. There's a new light right there. Uh, sorry, new. Not too sure what that's called. Highlighted zone? I don't know. Well, that's a cool plane. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Okay, is that all we can do? R to exit. Okay. Where does that lead to? Whoa! This is so cool. Wow. Okay, so let's go back off. And yeah, I'm not too sure what else you can do. I'm pretty sure you can customize your your planes. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I shouldn't say that because I haven't tried this before. But I have seen videos where people have some crazy looking planes inside. So I'm guessing you can. I'm not too sure. You can correct me if I'm wrong. And yeah, so this is a really cool mod. I like it. So yeah, this is how you install it. And this is what you get. This is how you use the mod. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys. Oh, and before I go, um, I actually found out how to customize uh, planes. You just go into your plane and then you press Q. If I'm not mistaken, let's just check. Um, hold on. You have a few different ways you can customize your plane. So you just go in here, um, you just press F to, you know, get into the plane. And then you press Q to modify. And here you can modify your plane however you like. Um, yeah, so you have all these different things. Whoa, library. I actually didn't check this out yet. Whoa. That's really cool. Okay, that looks dope. Okay, anyways, um, you can also use Simple Trainer. That's how I got these custom cool looking wheels. So that's actually quite funny. I don't recommend doing that, that looks kind of weird. But anyways, um, yeah, so you can do whatever you like. You can go into um, um, Simple Trainer and, going, and then you can go into Vehicle Options, Vehicle Color or Vehicle um, mod menu and you'll find everything you need here so yeah that concludes the video uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye